Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about tarot. My name is Liz. Um, in my next video I'll talk about runes because I don't think I'll have enough time to do both in this video. Um, tarot is a really great thing. I have enjoyed it for years. Um, even before I got into Wicca I enjoyed it. Um, tarot was originally set up as a card game in Europe and later became a tool of divination. Um, I really enjoy it because you get to take the cards and, and you get to read them, literally read them. Um, because the cards don't actually, you know, you don't get death and it means death. You know, you get things like, they all have different meanings. And I picked out three cards and I'm going to tell you what each of them means right side up and in reverse and how if you put them together a certain way what it could mean and it's a simple I just picked them out of the deck because it's a simple example but before I get into that I'm going to show you a book and I bought this book at Hastings for six bucks and it's by Sylvia Abram and it's called How to Read Tarot <laughs> and it's a very simple simple one it has a picture of the card and exactly what it means and it's a very simple way to do it but if you don't like the fact that when you're reading tarot you have to flip all the time to different page excuse me pages and read that way it's better just to learn each card and learn what the meaning is I advise getting flashcards because there can be quite a few meanings for one card um, and I will put some internet sites over to the side um, I think it would be that side maybe that side I'm not sure but on one of the sides I'll, I'll put the actual some of the things for tarot so that way you can look it up yourself um, and it doesn't cost you six bucks um, and just so you know I have actually the, the gilded tarot that's the book from it and uh, so if you like the pictures you can go buy it yourself um, the first card I'm going to tell you about is the four of cups and when it's like this, this is for the example, of course. I'm not going to tell you them all because it would take forever. The Four of Cups, um, when it's right side up, means luxury, abandonment, to desire, new ambitions. And when it's reversed, it means luxury without happiness, um, dissatisfaction with material that you have, material success, um, and a turning point in your life. Okay, so that's that one. The next one I'm going to show you is Death, which is a very misunderstood card. <laughs> um, right side up, it means death and rebirth. Um, the end of something, um, evolution from one state to another. When you reverse it, it means stagnation, um, death, er, putrefaction, incurable ill person, uh, or a broken marriage. third one I'm going to show you is called the Will of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune means, you know, change, evolution, success, good fortune, fate, happiness, abundance, new conditions. And when you turn it upside down, it means delays, setbacks, slow progress. Now, as you'll, as you'll notice, right side up is the exact opposite almost of upside down. So it makes it a little easier to learn them. So we're going to go with the example that you draw the first. Now, this will be past, present, and future. When you Now when you pull out past, we're going to assume you pulled the Four of Cups upside down, okay? When you pulled for the present, you pulled death right side up. And when you pulled for future, you pulled Will of Fortune right side up. It's just because it's the easiest example. So it would look, let me get them fixed here like that. Past, present, future. So what that would mean is that in the past you had lots of material possessions, you had lots of money, but you weren't happy with what you had. Okay? So, and then you had death which you had an evolution from one state to another. So suddenly your life is changing from this dissatisfied life to something else. And then you have war, war, will of fortune, which is the future, and that means that you do have success and, and good fortune, but you also have happiness and abundance. So something changed in your will of fortune to make you happy and full of abundance and make everything mean something. 
So that's a basic thing of Tarot. Um, and like I said, I will put some web addresses on the side so you can see um, kind of look. And, and any books you can find, um, always look for ones that don't necessarily give a pre-stated definition, but just give you words like success, change, stuff like that. That'll help if you want to learn. If you just want to read them, like I said, there's that How to Read Tarot book. But if you really want to learn them, you got to really look for a good book because some of those books out there are not the greatest. Um, so that is the, what I'm going to tell you about Tarot. Um, on my next video, I will tell you about runes. So I'll see you later. Bye.